Hi guys, this is Boy Big and back for another video. Today I'll walk you through how to serve the love SQL injection attack listing in the da database content on non Oracle database. The goal of this lab is uh, retrieving the username and password that you need to determine the number of this table and column in content. Then retrieve the content of table, opting the username and password for all users. To solve the lab, login as uh, administrator user. And let's start the lab, access the lab, open the new window. The first step, you need, we need to determine if that website is valuable for SQL injection. We choose any category in the search field. And we need to make sure that verb is intercept. We need to intercept on and hit any category you want. We hit in the pets category and go to sorry we go to burp and send request to repeater and intercept make that off and go to repeater uh, we, we make sure that website is verb for SQL injection we put the single co co code or single quotation and send the request you see, we have internal server errors that mean that website is variable for SQL injection. We, the next step, we need to determine how much column we have. We use the order by. Sorry. We need to use order by. What's going on to perp? It's back back. We use single column order by one and comment the rest of the query and send the request. Oh, we, 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 oh, we have space here and send the request again. What's going on? Order, place the browser. We put here order by one. I commit the rest of query and said okay. You see, we have column one. Let's choose column two. If we have column two, you see, we have two column and let's test if we have three column or something like that. Three and send again. Uh, we have 500 internal server errors. That means we have three, two columns. I mean, the next step we need to determine what of this column content take string value. We use the on a union attack. A union select. We use null value. And null again and commit the rest of query. We let's test the column one. We put A and send the request. You see, we have column one content the string value. And uh, let's test column two. Z and send the request. Oh, that means we have the, the each column contain the string value. The next step is let's go output the. Uh, the, the code here query is ready. Uh, we, we use an union select table name to retrieve the table that content of the website and null from information schema table. Let's copy that query and put it again here and, set, and hit enter. You see. Let's look for let's use perp to be that clear. Let's back back put the, re the query. Send the request. 
you see we have 500 request server error it's going on have trouble in the board let's see it again let's see we have here this for looking for name table name Uh, we have let's looking for user table oh sorry user you see that user user table we save the user table and go to next step is we use a unit select a tab column name and all from information schema column where the table name equal the user that and select all the query and go back for your application and put the new query and hit enter you see we have the 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 username and password column we select the username and go to next query is a new select username we replace the username with the previous one oh sorry and select the passport password i mean to sorry to our query here we replace it it's new one and select our query now uh, with the user table select user table here and select our query and go back to application and replace it in url and paste and hit enter you see we scroll down you see we have administrator we select that and go the goal of the lab is looking as a as a administrator we go to my account and put the administrator user and hit login oh have trouble here Administrator and hit the password. Password. And you see, we solved the lab. We login as an administrator. And this video for today. I hope you hope it for you. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you new stuff and see you next time, guys. Bye bye.